Hey, honey badgers. So you probably opened up this video and thought, this isn't gothic at all. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to get to the gothic in a second. I just thought I would give a quick little update for anybody who was following the 100% uh, confetti canvas saga that I posted a little bit on the community. It's done now. <laughs> I finally got through it uh, after days of eye strain. I finally got through it. It's not quite as uh, clean on the detail as I was hoping given that there given that there was so much confetti but it's still cute this is ooh, hold on okay almost lost you there <laughs> uh, this is a 35 by 45 canvas so it's I'm gonna get totally in frame but yeah it's that uh you can, I mean you can make out the detail you can see the fruits there and the lemons. When I posted that silly little lemon butt joke, that was that part there. It still kind of looks like a lemon butt. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've got the curtains up here. You got a little bit of a window line there. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty. It's a lot of green and purple. So if that's your thing. Um, I've, I haven't been able to find this canvas available again. I mean, I'll look again, but I don't know that I can find this one. It's, I think it... It was a few months uh, a while back that I got this, uh, so I'm eh, uh, not sure if I can find this one. But yeah, that's how this one turned out. Uh, I have a, um, what do you call it, completion reel done. Uh, I'll post a link to that below if you want to see that in better lighting because <laughs> I'm filming this a little bit later at night. So that's that's that one done. And then I, just real quick, I thought I would show this is my uh, next canvas coming up that I'm going to start working on. This is a 30 by 40. So that's a garden girl. So yeah, that's what I have for that. Okay, now we can get into the slight gothic vibes, whatever I titled this. These are going to be uh, sort of like the spooky um, Halloween, not like really dark, but like kind of more Halloween vibes uh, themed things that I got from uh, Timu lately. Um, actually, one more thing before I get into that. I, I got this from Timu as well. I wasn't sure if I'd put this in a haul, but this is a little butterfly ring. Just has little different butterflies around the edge all the way around and then on the inside it says do well, let me see if I can get there we go do what makes your soul happy no soul shine do what makes your soul shine soul shine wow that's hard to put together sometimes uh so yeah that's a little silver ring I got uh I got this one in a size nine because like I never know when you're buying stuff online. Uh, generally, I um, tend to wear anything from like, uh, because I have full body lymphedema, I tend to, my typical ring size is about a seven, uh, but I tend to wear anything from a seven up to like a nine or a 10, I think sometimes because the, when I get like days of heavy fluid buildup in my limbs, and my fingers and stuff. Uh, I have to go a little bit bigger if I want to wear rings, but typically uh, my ring size is closer to a seven. But this one, it says it's a nine, but I, I mean, usually when I buy stuff, anything that's like online or especially from budget companies or something, I tend to size up just to make sure that I can wear it on <laughs> one of my fingers. So this one, um, I also do that so that I can kind of swap which finger I want to wear it on. So um, if I'm typically a seven on my smaller fingers, um, then I know if I get it in a slightly so so bigger size, then I can wear it on uh, like my pointer finger or I can use this as a thumb ring or, you know, I can swap it out like that. So that's why I do that. But yeah, I don't know if this one is still available. Um, I'll check online and see if anybody is selling this. If they don't have this exact one, I'll try to find something similar as far as a butterfly ring band, if they have anything going um, for any of you that like that style. So I thought I would show that because I wasn't sure if I had shown that in a haul before. Okay, going into the more Halloween-y stuff. 
So uh, I have some diamond painting kits, but before I get into that, I thought I would show this one thing because I got this for Halloween this year. Uh, this is sort of my, <laughs> not really my costume, but like my, my Halloween energy this year. <laughs> Uh, I just, I saw this sweatshirt and thought this was so damn cute. Uh, so this is the scream guy saying, no, you hang up. <laughs> and uh, as far as the sweatshirt itself, again, uh, I got this oversized for me. Uh, typically my tops these days tend to run like a medium large. Um, but with sweatshirts and stuff, I tend to go anywhere from like two to three sizes bigger just because I'm one of those girls that likes the oversized look <laughs> so uh this one I got in their extra extra large size I'm not quite sure what that translates to number wise um I want to say it was maybe around I think they had it marked as like maybe a, a 16 number wise but I can't remember for sure um, but yeah, I got that so that I get that baggy fit I like in, in sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff. Because, you know, I can't ever totally get rid of that 90s grunge kid out of my system. Uh, so, yeah, as far as um, this particular purchase, I'm a little bit middle of the road as far as my happiness with it. Um, the actual sweatshirt itself is super nice quality. It is really, it's got a really nice interior um the, the all the stitching is really good it's good and thick uh, i tried it on the other day and, and got very overheated very quickly so like there is a lot of warmth to it my one issue with this is the quality of the graphic uh i was also um i have this thing texturally with graphics where like i like the extra plasticky graphics texturally bug me on clothes this one's not too bad like I can deal with this one the only issue I had with this one is that it is the graphic itself as far as the quality of uh, the plastic and the adhesion and everything I feel like it's a little bit on the cheap side and I feel like if you would stick this in the dryer this is either gonna melt crinkle up or crack in like one or two washes so as far as mine goes, I will probably be hand washing mine just to make it last a little bit longer because I, I really do love this graphic and the quality is really nice. Uh, I will put in a little picture of me uh, trying this on so you can see what it looks like on me. Uh, if you're around the size I am, you can see what a, what the oversized look like look looks like on on my frame if that gives you any point of reference. That was the only like non diamond painting thing I have in this haul. Everything else is, I just have like, I think there's four diamond paintings here, if I remember right. Uh, and I didn't take these out of the plastic. Normally I have them out of the plastic when I show you guys, but this time I thought, what the hell, I'll just leave it in the plastic and do it the traditional style when you see unboxings or people do all the unwrappings. Okay, so we'll go small to big, I guess. Uh, okay, so this one, I guess we'll, we'll <laughs> go up to, uh, more spooky, less spooky vibes to more spooky vibes, I guess. So this one is minimally, this one is not really spooky, gothic -y necessarily. This is more like, I don't know, closer to like Pulp Fiction vibes, but I thought I would throw it in here because it is, you know, it's got a little bit of Morticia energy. <laughs> She's got the, it's just a really simple canvas as far as like, she's got the simple black bob. Um, she's got this wrap, which <laughs> this kind of reminds me of when I did my uh, senior portraits. Um, I, in between, uh, I think it was 10th and 11th grade, I switched from a very liberal California high school to a very Southern Baptist Texas high school and I graduated from the Texas high school and when I went to do my senior portraits uh, the the official ones that go in the yearbook not the ones you pay for but like my official ones that, that went in the yearbooks they they did the old school like where they have you do this rap thing which I thought was really funny because at my old school in California they just you know you wear whatever you wanted to but this 
I was surprised they were still doing this because this was the what they did when my mom graduated high school, um, which is funny because my mom graduated from a uh, San Diego high school, but it was back in the 60s. So I thought it was like, oh, it was more conservative time, I guess. <laughs> then when they had me do it in Texas, I was like, oh, oh, all right. Oh, we'll just do the rap then. So it was like this where it's like they have you put on this curtain thing and do this this pose um so that, partly that's kind of what that reminded me of but also i do like the sort of like kind of 30s vampy look to this uh so let me see if i can lift this up at all also without dropping my phone off the holder so yeah not a very complex palette on this one oh, let me flip it the other way so you can actually see so you got a lot of black, obviously. It looks like there's two bags of 310. You got some reds for her lip area. Some neutrals for the skin tone. The yeah, It's showing up yellow, but it's actually neutral. Sorry, that's just my poor lighting right now because I'm doing this kind of later. I'll try to uh, brighten this video up in editing and see if that helps you guys see a better representation of what these colors are but yeah if that looks yellow it's actually like skin tone color and then some browns for around her eye area and then some more neutrals for the skin and I'm guessing obviously some of that will probably go in the background to lighten that up but that's basically it that's that's your whole palette on this one so whopping eight colors but yeah it's gonna be cute um I don't know, I may do some ABs, just a few down in the wrap here, just to break it up a little bit from the hair and everything. But other than that, I don't think I'm gonna change too much on this. But yeah, I thought it'd be, be cool. All right, so what's next here? Okay, I think this is a ghost one, if I remember right. I saw somebody else do this and it turned out really cute so I thought I would give it a try. Oh, I thought that was a loose drill in there but it's under the plastic. Okay so it's just a, a little ghost guy at the arcade. <laughs> um, I think it's simple enough that the detail on the arcade will come out decent. Uh, it's not overly complicated so I think this one will be fine in a 30 by 40 like I said. I, I did see one other person do this and it looks pretty cute from, from what I can tell. Uh, but yeah, it's just, again, pretty simple. Let me move some of my stuff on my desk here. Okay, um, pretty simple. Just the arcade in the background and then it almost has a look of like an abandoned arcade which would make sense if there's a ghost there. <laughs> but yeah, the arcade games look really beat up and kind of rusty looking and you got the floor and it looks like there's his I want to say it's his reflection but it's a ghost so I don't know <laughs> but yeah that's that's what that image is and then your color palette on this one is not going to be wildly exciting I'll show you I think it's just going to be a lot of like grays and browns with it looks like there's probably going to be a little bit of blue, maybe, on the arcade games. Let's see. There's a little brown one off by itself. Uh, yeah, this looks like a pretty neutral palette. So you've got... Let me see if I can... Oh, there was that loose drill. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can bring the light a little bit up. Okay. So that's some grays there, some browns, uh, that's like a, kind of a neutral green, it's like a military green, some like neutral sort of almost khaki color, some browns, more dark browns, there's sort of a slate blue gray, that might be what's going up in there. Um, there's a gray, but it's got like a slight greenish tinge to it, it looks like. Some more dark browns. This actually looks like that might be that 823 blue, which is the H. 
yeah huh, look at me go that is 823 blue <laughs> um i guess i've been doing this a while i can spot some of them uh, some mid browns neutral sort of more khaki colors that's that color that's sort of like in between an orange and a brown kind of some more grays that might be a 310 is it yep 310 right here and then some more grays so yeah again not a wild color palette but i got it mostly because i think it's just going to be super cute all right so let me figure out how to get all that in there that off to the side. I'll clean all that up later. Okay. And this one is, um, I put this sort of in the gothic category just because it's got sort of that, like, it's more along the lines of, like, Ice Queen Narnia kind of feel, but I don't know. It's kind of, kind of in that same vein. Oh, that's interesting. This one, <laughs> this was double bagged. Hold on. Uh, I think that's the first time that's happened to me. <laughs> you guys ever get this, the parents at Christmas that try to do that stupid trick on you where they try to put your gift in like a million boxes? I remember a couple Christmases my parents did that and they thought it was the funniest thing and I was just like, this is just a waste. Okay, hold on. This second bag is being difficult, so let me put the edge off real quick. Right. Why are you freaking kidding me, you guys? There is a third bag on this canvas. Oh my god. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Roots <laughs> one, two. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Three. Okay, we are down to the canvas. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that happen before. This cracks me up. Okay, anyway. So, this is a larger canvas, so I'm going to have to get a little creative with getting this in frame. But again, not a wildly bright, crazy canvas. So... If you're big on like super rainbow colors, this is probably not going to be the haul for you. <laughs> um, I do like doing the rainbow colors myself too, but uh, if if the subject is something that I like, I'm not averse to going into the the darker colors. Uh, okay, so this is a 40 by 60, and this has got that sort of like I said, kind of ice queen, snow queen energy to it. But yeah, she's got some icy oh, you got? it's it's interesting it's like it's got that icy look but it's almost like like a medusa or a coral look going up in her hair not quite sure what that is but uh it's cool looking <laughs> uh there's probably going to be some blues and stuff blues and grays going in her eyes she's got a snow owl familiar here i guess and then uh let me see if i can bring it down okay and then down here we've got some like icy feathery leaf looking things going on as far as her attire so yeah that's thought that was a pretty cool canvas um i won't bother opening all these up because i mean you can see the palette is going to be pretty gray and neutral there's a little bit of a pop of purple which I'm guessing is probably going to go around her eyes here and maybe in the background to bring that out a little bit. There's going to be, let me see, um, yeah, that's that 154. There's going to be a lot of 310 in the background, it looks like, no surprise. Um, it'll, it says there's also some 550 in here. So, uh, yeah, some pops of bright purple, but a lot of like icy gray colors for the most part. So that's what's in that one. There's a little bit of that icy blue there. And then some blue grays. Yeah, I don't see anything too crazy in there. 
Uh, this was another one I was thinking I've got some white ABs that I might work into this at different points. I haven't really decided where just yet. Um, but probably up in here somewhere, maybe down in her clothes. Probably won't mess with the face too much. Uh, but yeah, that's that one. And then this is the one that inspired this whole idea to do a little bit more of a gothic theme haul. I saw this one and said, oh, hell yeah. So, um, I'm not one to do like really, really violent horror scenes. That's not really my thing. Um, as far as like Halloween and horror and stuff like that go, I usually like the ones that are a little bit more, uh, tongue in cheek, kind of like cartoony more, but like, like the horror movies, but like, it's kind of poking fun at it. It takes a little bit of the edge out kind of thing. But, um, every so often <laughs> there is one that's a little bit more, traditionally horror style that sort of appeals to me uh simply because you I guess it it kind of calls out to it, when I was younger I grew up in a really violent home so you know there's a part of me that sort of responds to like images of of you know little kids showing strength and getting through that and and you know that like little little kid being like this isn't gonna get me <laughs> kind of thing like I've for years I've told my friends that one of my uh sort of life mantras I use that I came up with when I was in my teens trying to survive that area era is to be stronger than your demons be scarier than your demons acknowledge that the demons are there but be scarier than them <laughs> um and that that attitude pulled me through a lot so when I see stuff like this it kind of reminds me of that like that side of me that's like be scarier than your demons <laughs> make them want to throw you out um and be like whoa I'm not messing with that yeah that kind of that that sort of part of me I guess responds to to images like this that's but yeah this is another one that's that's going to be um you know pretty pretty straightforward palette it's going to be a lot of 310 as you can guess um but again this is one that i might work in a through a few of the oil slick ab's um to you know i usually do that if there's a lot of 310 i'll usually throw in a few of the oil slick ab's in the background if it makes sense to just try to break that up a little bit um so i'll go ahead and open up this one just to see. I don't think it'll be anything wildly interesting, but I'll just pop open the bag. Whoop. Pop open the bag here and see. This looks like 3865. Dang, I am on it today. 3865. Some browns. That sort of uh, purpley brown neutral color. That's another sort of neutrally brown that's got a little bit of purple tint to it this is more like plum colored sort of a muted plum color we've got a little bit of neutrals for the skin tone i'm guessing some other neutrals here we get into the reds for the eyes which 10 is not a 666 you guys might be surprised, but there's no 666 red in this. <laughs> this 10 is an 817, and 9 is an 814. Some more brown. There's a little bit of orange. I guess that's going to be worked into the eye, too. And then it's just a bunch of more neutral grays and... Uh, I think this is all the 310 here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Three bags of 310, it looks like. So, and then this one, 13, is 3371. So that's a, a really dark brown. That's, I'm guessing, also going to be worked into the background and also sort of pull out the strands of her hair. 
Um, yeah, so that's that one. That's what that looks like. And size-wise, this is the canvas is, says it's 40 by 40. I'm guessing the actual drill size, it doesn't look like a true 40 by 40, so I'm guessing the actual drill size is closer to a 35 by 35, just so you know. But still, for something this simple in design overall as far as like there's not an, a ton of like super fine detail with like little things it's mostly just her face uh, a 35 by 35 i'd say is perfect size for this so yeah i think that's going to be really cool um hmm i was just noticing something here i don't know if it's going to show up <laughs> Um, I could be wrong, but that kind of looks like a spider down there to me. I'm not a big fan of spiders. Um, I don't kill them. Uh, I, I do respect them, but they still weird me out. Uh, just cause it, they're just one of those creatures where I'm just like, there's so many legs and they move so fast. <laughs> uh, that I just, it, yeah. Um, also... One of the reasons why I have an issue with spiders is uh, one of the first nightmares I ever remember having as far as like night terrors that you woke up from or I woke up from <laughs> is it involved a spider. Uh, I was about four years old, I remember, and I, I vividly remember waking up from this dream and having this like one of those sleep hallucinations where you're you're just coming out of sleep your brain hasn't quite clicked back into <laughs> conscious level yet so you have one of those like sleep hallucination things uh i remember the image of a big spider body moving over my face uh and freaking me the hell out <laughs> and from that day i think that's probably what largely triggered me with like ah <laughs> um i'm not terrified of like all spiders but like ones that are small and fat and move really fast those are usually the ones where i'm just like ah! those and like the ridiculously large ones in australia that are not really a threat to me here <laughs> but still images on them of them online still weird me out those are like the the two big types where i'm just like Meh. um Daddy long legs, garden spiders, those don't bother me quite as much. But yeah, I just noticed that where I was just like, uh. Um, <laughs> it, when, I, um, when I was in my teens for one summer, um, I worked as a uh, camp counselor in Tennessee. Um, and I was camp counselor to a group. I, at the time, I was 19. I think and I was camp counselor to a cabin of girls that was like the 12 11 to 13 range I think uh and I remember one night there was a girl that freaked out because one of these um you know like the back big back end spiders got into the cabin and she freaked out and she's like oh my god Miss Angie because it's Tennessee and everybody between North Carolina and Tennessee tends to call me Miss Angie for some reason. <laughs> Southern thing, I guess. But she's like, oh my God, Miss Angie, this spider. Um, and I remember telling her, which is funny because like I didn't necessarily believe it myself, but you know, when you're put in charge of something and you're put in charge of children, you don't want to act like you're freaked out by something. So I told her um, one of my tricks was to give something a silly name to make it less scary. So I was just like, just call it a big booty spider. And you won't be as scared of it. And apparently that works because then it became a running joke the rest of the their camp <laughs> time. They were just they were constantly pointing out big booty spiders. Uh to try to like, you know, make themselves less freaked out by them. Didn't like secretly didn't necessarily work for me. I still see these these type and I'm just like meh. <laughs> uh but yeah, that's that's one of my camp counselor stories for you anyway that's all i have for you on this one hope you guys have a good halloween good spooky times uh if that's not your thing hope you have a good uh, what do they call them trunk or treat evening um trying to remember what the the non-halloween thing is so that's what i have for this one guys um 
whatever you're doing for Halloween, whether you're celebrating the spooky season or not. Regardless, hope you have a good day. Come back and see me soon. I'm going to have new new stuff coming up. Um, always trying to think of new new content for you guys. So I'll come back when I got something for you. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.